Yo, how's everybody doing? It's the Hawking Regime here, and today I'm coming at you guys with another Madden player creation tutorial video. Today we're doing Dante Culpepper, who primarily played for the Minnesota Vikings during his 11-year NFL career. Unfortunately, never culminated in any real big playoff runs for Dante Culpepper, especially during his time in Minnesota, where he had phenomenal weapons like Randy Moss and Chris Carter at his disposal. But still made two playoff appearances and throughout his career passed for a little bit under a quarter of 100,000 passing yards, 149 total passing yard, passing touchdowns in his career and 34 rushing touchdowns. So had about a hundred, over 180 combined touchdowns that he was responsible for during his career in the NFL in the latter portion. Played a little bit with Miami, some time in Oakland, Detroit. It wasn't really pretty at the end, but during his prime in Minnesota, had a couple pretty nice seasons in 2003 and 2004, respectively 25 touchdowns, 39 touchdowns in 2004, 25 in 2003, and 11 INTs you know, each season. So pretty good there and over 65% completion percentage. Unfortunately, both those years, the team finished at exactly 500, 7 and 7 in 2003 as a starter with Dante Culpepper at the helm and 8-8 eight and eight in 2004, and he had his best year in 2004, 4,717 yards, like I said, and 39 touchdown passes. That was actually the year, along with his 400 yards on the ground and two rushing touchdowns, that was the year that he was basically molded into NBA, NFL, excuse me, NFL 2K5, and that was one of the first games that I really got into, NFL 2K5, ESPN, I believe, was on the cover, I think it was Terrell Owens on the cover, and for whatever reason, I don't know why, but I absolutely loved using Dante Culpepper in that game. And I have to look up the ratings at some point. But he was such a beast to play with. His combination of speed, athleticism, throw power, and accuracy was super fun to use. For me personally, I guess everybody loved running quarterbacks at the time. Michael Vick was obviously a big name in early Madden titles. But in terms of just pure professional football titles, 2K5, Dante Culpepper was one of my favorite players ever in the video game universe for football games. So Dante Culpepper, awesome to create him here now in Madden. He was actually in Madden 16 for certain. I believe he was also a campus hero in Madden NFL 17. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. Didn't play as much Ultimate Team these past two seasons, but I do remember him being a legend in Madden NFL 16. So getting on in now to the player creation for Dante Culpepper, there's a couple of distinct things I would like to talk about with Dante Culpepper. First off, the sleeves that I have on him right now are standard sleeves and you should probably switch those to long sleeves. I actually end up showing you the difference it looks at the end of the video. The reason kind of why I decided to not go to the longer sleeves was essentially because I just didn't really like the look of it. Dante didn't have the lengthy kind of out wide sleeves like Peyton Manning does. So that's why I didn't really want that. But in a way, he also does have those sleeves. So I thought it was kind of middle ground. And honestly, probably should go with the longer sleeves in my opinion. I made a mistake with that. But you can kind of do what you want. It has a really distinct face mask, by the way, that they actually don't have implemented into the game, at least to my knowledge. But the cage that I chose is relatively close to what you would see if you looked at a picture of Dante Culpepper or watched highlights of him during his time in Minnesota. Now here you look at me adjusting the weight. That's one of the other things that I've actually talked about with even a viewer. He discussed, I don't remember the viewer's name, I apologize, but he talked about how can I make Ezekiel Elliott look a little bit bulkier if I want to adjust his customization in the game, his appearance in the game. And really the only answer is to increase the weight amount regardless of whether or not it's accurate because that's the only way you can really fill out their body the way you want to. And that's exactly what I did with Dante Culpepper. He's really, you know, 255, 260 pounds in terms of the video game universe and what he should be in real life. But because of the way that the weight kind of creates the appearance of the person, I had to increase it to 300 pounds. So just stay aware of that for other players. I did that for Jerome Bettis. That's one of the notable ones. Uh, you have to increase the weight sometimes if you want to get the physique correct. Uh, so we get on into the ratings now. The speed, agility, acceleration, pretty nice there for Dante Culpepper. Excellent throwing power. Had great strength and power to run over guys too. That's what made him so cool as a runner. He could, you know, pretty much, I mean, you couldn't be careless with the ball if running with him, but he was big enough to run over, you know, defensive backs. So that was something you always had to be aware of. 
good accuracy all around. Obviously, his deep throw, in my opinion, is the best feature of his passing game because he also had guys like Randy Moss and Chris Carter going deep. And, you know, that's going to help out your percentages when you throw the ball 40, 50 yards down the field. So I think his rating's pretty good. I think he ends up being around a 90 overall. But Dante Culpepper, a really fun player for me to use in previous NFL titles, 2K5, obviously, namely. But in Madden, this guy also actually was really fun to use. I even tested him out in practice mode. He's a fun player to use. Um, but yeah, that actually will be the conclusion of the video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. You know, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more of these Madden player creation tutorial videos, along with some of my two old franchise episode series. Just really, or episodes and. You know, they've really started to, got, to get going. We're, I think, halfway through the season at this point. Going to get nearly there at the halfway point uh, through the season. But also have just launched a website. So if you guys want to suggest content or just talk about anything in terms of looking at my video schedule or what I should change on the channel, you can definitely go there and check things out. Lots of information there in the description. Well, once again, it will be the conclusion of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And, yep, thanks for watching.